most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having when a man is trying to rebuild his life after identity theft where people took over his privacy rights his financial rights his medical rights and his technology rights he is facing a uphill batter, battle against fraud on his life and cybercrime that is literally still attacking his life every day I go to try to do a little bit of work to keep moving myself forward in my profession of marketing publicity PR and literally video directing production and creating creative content that gets people listening and thinking about the world and the political world in which we live the music of the world is what makes our souls sing for people that we really care for and people that bring us joy and people who bring us sorrow but the reality in the world is that it is the audiophiles of America that help people to learn and to study while they're busy multitasking doing other projects in their home the lifeblood of an American citizen is what we want it to be but it's not always as easy as we'd like it to be the lifeblood of an American Muslim is different than an American Indian as it is different than the American Chinese, the American Korean, the American Japanese, and the American Russian, the American Spaniard, the American Mexican. You see, the list goes on. We are more and more of a smorgasbord every day than a melting pot where everybody joins together. The challenge of a smorgasbord is that people sometimes cross the lines, mix their food, and that's okay with most of us, but when it gets to be to the point where the individual group becomes rude, out of control, and violent, vain and youths full of vices that make them inhumane we have problems and that's what we're talking about today in america we have rights and the rights of us belong to us individually they do not belong to a group of people who want to gang up stalk mob harass and create a hate crime on someone's life i have been for now a quite some time almost five years a victim of hate crime and it gets more and more difficult to figure out why it's going on. My clothes have all been cut, resized, and some of them have actually been painted brown. I had a brand new black white socks uh, pullover sweatshirt, and someone has now completely painted the inside brown on top of the outside that was painted brown. And I really don't appreciate that because my life is mine, and I have the right to clean clothes, and I have the right to quality clothing and I have the right to not have to deal with someone who wants to maliciously attack my right to choose my own fashion, my own flavor of the month clothing or whatever it may be. What I'm aware of is that the magic in the Lord still exists today and as much as someone may attack what I'm doing, God can provide and replenish in his way. The problem is people don't want to see the Lord today so we have people who do ill-willed things towards others and they think they're getting away with it when they're really not. They're going to be facing Gabriel at the heaven's gate someday and they're going to have to figure out what to say. And you can go on in your selfish nature, you can go on with your selfish desires, you can go on with your sexual inappropriateness, but the bottom line is if God has been shouting at you, saying to you, this is now done, go to be with that one, go to handle this, go to do that, it's time to listen. Listening skills are the most essential aspect of any job. It allows you to know what is and isn't right in the world. But it also tells you what is and isn't truth. And the truth is that people have rights. And the rights that we have are being taken from us on a regular basis. There are people who want to finish our sentences without our consent. There are people who want to make decisions for us, which isn't their right to do. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. America is at risk from rights violations. And openly, that is more and more growing every day totally true.